And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create a pop-up effect. It's usually used to say subscribe, for example, or like the video, at least on YouTube. And let us position it maybe here. You can do that with almost any element. In CapCut, let us use a sticker first, maybe a subscribe button. Some of them have inbuilt animations. For example, this one with a ringing bell. Let me download it, then I click on the plus sign and we have it as an element here. I'll reposition it to the top right. And now you can see it pops up. And then it's going to vanish. When you've got it selected, you can add animations. And this is usually what you want to add. Let me add a bounce in. And we also want to have an out animation. I'll just use a bounce out. Don't worry about this bounding box. It's going to vanish once you deselect this element in the timeline. And then you're good. Same principle can be used for, as I've said, almost any element. So if you, for example, want to create a default text, let me make this like the video. And I use a preset style. And here again, once we've got it selected, we can add animations for in and out. For text elements, there are actually quite a lot. Just be careful when you don't use the pro version. You can only use the free ones, but the free ones are sufficient. For example, here the pop-up. By the way, at the top for animation, you will find a duration slider. So let me make that a second long. And we also want to have an out animation. So I reselect this element, go to animation, out, and let me use a slide down. The duration for this one is now at the bottom right of this menu. So 0 0.5 seconds by default. The in is still a second long. Let me play it. And now it pops up. And that basically pops down or pops out. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.